Welcome to another edition of Carbs and Reckless Eating, the only show where I sit in the car and BS while consuming carbs. Mad sign here, another Burger King burger. I am sweating balls right now, <laughs> but this is the A1 Ultimate Bacon Cheeseburger. Go ahead and pull this thing out. Also, while you're waiting, subscribe to our gaming channel, Zion Mainframe Gaming. Click that right there, the annotation, the sexy annotation, or go in the description down below for the link. We do Let's Plays. It is our gaming channel. Give it a subscribe if you have not before. And here we go. Now, this is a much meatier burger. Maybe this one is the one that was expensive as opposed to yesterday's uh, mushroom burger. Yeah, this one is rocking large. Jesus. Okay, so obviously the gimmick of this, it was falling apart. I had to try to save it, is that you have A1 steak sauce on a bacon cheeseburger. A1 steak sauce is really good. I uh, used to put it on my steaks all the time back in the day. I then kind of got into the whole attitude that if you get the right steak, you don't really need steak sauce. So if a steak sucks, I'll use A1. If it doesn't, then I'll just, I'll eat the steak as is. Usually I'll get like a blue cheese steak and then we're just set. I don't, you don't need anything else to add to that. But you have bacon, cheese, and you got your patties and that's about it with the A1 steak sauce. Here we go, let's try it. New from Burger King, boom. It's really solid, and I don't mean like solid physically because it was falling apart, but taste-wise, it's very solid. The A1 steak sauce really complements everything in the burger. It said this is like one of the nicer burgers I think Burger King has. A1 steak sauce just kind of bumps it up, but this doesn't feel cheap either. I like the bun. It seems like they at least attempted to do something with the bun. They didn't just pull it out of a bag, throw it on my burger, and that's that. I'm gonna get one more big old bite and we'll go ahead and go to the review. That is really delicious. Second bite, I got even more A1. Now I will say, the A1 is what's carrying this entire burger. Otherwise it would just be like a decent fast food burger, but with the A1 steak sauce, it pumps it up even more. I would give this a high four out of five. I just really enjoy A1 steak sauce. So I mean like, it makes me even consider now when I'm going out and about, like bring a little packet of A1 with me or like a little bottle. I don't think they do A1 in packets. In a little bottle, and like put that on stuff because like some people that like to put like sriracha all over their crap or just miscellaneous hot sauces. I would put A1 on almost everything. It's really good. And also it always improves a bad item. So, or even just a mediocre item, but there you go guys. What are your thoughts on Burger King teaming up with A1 to create a new burger? If you had it, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. And thank you for joining me for this edition of Carbs here on Reckless Eating. We'll see you next time. Reckless eating! Reckless eating!